Okay, watch this. I'm going to drop multiple sources and notebook LM will turn into an infographic I could present, a spreadsheet I can short, a one-page memo with citation I can literally click to verify. And by the end of this video, you will be able to do this exact workflow in minutes for school, work, content, anything. Quick context why notebook lm worth full tutorial right now because most ai tools give you confident answer without proof notebook lm is different it's built for real work because it stays grounded within your sources and it gives you clickable citation so you can verify it so instead of spending hours reading pdfs watching long videos and juggling five different apps you can turn them into tables visuals infographics study tools and summarizes all within one place. That is why Notebook LM is one of the most important AI tools in market. Let's dive in. You can simply sign in with your Gmail ID and the first screen look like this. Then you can click on create new notebook. And here on the left side, you can see the sources. That is what AI allowed to use. So you can add all sources like upload files, website, YouTube video link, drive or copy text. In the middle section, you will find chat where you can ask question and you will get answers. And the right side, that is one of the most important, that is a studio panel, where you will get audio overview, means podcast, video overview, mind map, reports, quiz, infographics, data tables from your resources and what you ask in the chat section. We all are expecting high returns from our stock market investment. But in the most cases, we don't get a desired result. We don't have time to spend eight hours to research any company. But today we will do within few minutes. We will do it in a pipeline. Research, numbers, visuals and memo. First, if you don't have enough resources, let Notebook LM find their own resources. So Notebook LM added this new feature called Deep Research. It exactly same like you do in a Gemini 3. But in this case, it's within Notebook LM. So, which, so let's paste this prompt. So today we would like to compare Google versus Meta on revenue drivers, margins, risk and 2026 outlook. And you can select here web and select deep research. Let's click on generate. It will take few minutes because it is doing deep research. Perfect. So they research from around 36 resources. We can just click on import. Now it's importing all resources and it will do research and it will give us a result here. Deep research is completed by using 36 different resources. Now we will make it into content. So first we will click on data table. That is one of the most demanded features requested by users. So now they updated it. So we'll replace this with this prompt. So create a comparison data table for Google versus Meta and include revenue growth, gross margin, operating margin and all the details. Let's click on generate. So within one minute, they gave us output. Let's click on this and we can click on export to sheets. So we got the result within our Google sheet. Now step three to make them into visualization. Now we will make it presentation ready. So from studio panel, you can select on infographics. Then you can give this prompt design an infographic called Google versus Meta, the 60 second verdict. So let's click on generate. This is perfect when someone says, explain it like I'm busy. So this is called a busy version. Great, they gave us results. Let's click on this. That's amazing. As you can see, Google versus Meta, the 60 second verdict, quarter three revenue, 102.3 billion, quarter three revenue of Meta, 51.2 billion. And here, as you can see, Meta's biggest trends, unrivaled social ecosystem. And at the same time, Google's biggest trends, biggest risk, and they are providing verdict who wins if the priority is stability and diversification google wins if the priority is high growth potential from aggressive bets meta wins the future is enterprise and cloud google wins that's so amazing within few minutes we generated this without collecting resources from the web last step a report that reads like an investment memo hey guys if you're learning something new today and enjoying my content then subscribe to my channel and smash the like button because currently i'm one man army show so i'm building script recording video editing it and publish it with you subscribing to my channel is the easiest way to support me and join my journey so let's click on reports from a studio panel we'll click on create your own i'll give this prompt Write a one page investment memo using only these resources and you can also select different languages. Currently, I will select English and let's click on generate. It took around two minutes and then it gave us investment memo. It's complete memo. Then you can download it. And also, like we mentioned in prompt, top three follow up research items. And one thing is I'm not providing any financial advice during this entire video. It's just research which I'm telling you how to use Notebook LM. Now the student cheat code also works for certification, onboarding and learning anything. For the second use case, I found in total seven different resources, four YouTube videos about photosynthesis, one PDF link about photosynthesis 
and two articles. So I will paste all these links into Notebook LM. I created one another notebook for this student exam tomorrow system. Then I will click on upload a source. Then I will click on website and YouTube URLs. Then I will paste all URLs for YouTube video link, one PDF two articles and then I will click on insert. So now it will check all resources. So before you ask anything, click on configure chat and then click on learning guide. So which will is just a conversation goal style and goal. So here we are learning something. So I will select learning guide and choose your response length. So I will click on shorter and then click on save. Then let's click on mind map. Yep, it was fast and they created mind map. And now we will click further. Okay, it's definition and stages definition and you can click further that's how you can learn quickly that's so visually appealing and it's so easy now let's go to flashcard click on flashcard and then we'll change the prompt then generate flashcard focused on definitions plus common trick questions keep answers one sentence generate perfecto they generated flashcards let's click on that what is the primary purpose of cellular respiration i don't know so if you don't know just click on that it will give you answer to break down food molecules like glucose to release energy in the form of atp i don't know <laughs> and then you can go next 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 and then you will find all the answers that's so amazing i'm not a biology guy so i don't know any of this but you can change the subject you can change based on your own requirements then you can generate flashcard like this let's check how it will work in the quiz section because it's important then we'll click on quiz I'll give this prompt, create a 15 question quiz, 10 concept checks plus 5 application questions. After each answer, explain why. Click on generate. Yo, so they generated quiz now. Let's open this. Okay, they are asking difficult question. I don't want to go in detail because I'm not from biology. So I don't want to make myself dumb here. And but the thing is here, you can learn anything nowadays. The barrier is over. It doesn't matter. You are rich, poor, from small city, big city. It doesn't matter. It's just you need passion and interest. Then you can learn anything. All right, creators, I'm going to feed Notebook LM some high quality sources on procrastination and also some psychological articles from credible sources. And I created new notebook called Creator Machine. And then I will click on Upload Source. Click on here, paste few links and click on Insert. Then it will check all resources. Seems like it's working. Now I will paste this prompt here. And I'm asking, give me 10 hooks, 10 thumbnail text options, five strong angles, a full script in two columns. Let's see if it will generate good output in this case or not. There you have it. They gave us 10 high energy hooks. You aren't lazy. You are actually in a fight or fight response against your own to-do list. That's good. They also gave us 10 thumbnail text and visual idea. Also five strong video angles and the full script. That's a full 10 minute script and also myth versus truth and 30 second challenge and as you can see there is one option called save to note so if you have a lot of history then you can click on this and it will generate here so it will have this pinned note over here now it's fun part let's turn them into slide deck so in the storyboard so we can click on slide deck then i'll paste the prompt and i will select uh, English language and as you can see create a slide deck storyboard for 10 to 12 minute YouTube video each slide visual idea plus on screen text plus one punchy line I say so let's click on generate I'm really excited for this because it directly helps uh, YouTubers like me and many other creators who want the quick uh, slide deck when they wanted to present some tutorials perfect they generated slide deck called later is now let's click on this that's amazing it's minimalistic as well as elegant and sophisticated and it looks premium so as you can see they didn't use many words in the slide i'm impressed i'm impressed and of course you can change based on your own requirements based on your own use cases this is just presentation so you always need to change based on your own uh, use cases history is confusing when it's just paragraph so I am feeding Notebook LM some few good resources about World War II and within one click Notebook LM will turn entire World War II into timeline. Okay, so in new notebook I pasted all resources then I will click on insert. Okay, one resource was not acceptable so I will delete that. Remove all failed resources. Then I will click on infographics. Click on this put prompt create a timeline infographic World War II in 10 turning points. 
let's click on generate history is very interesting and you need to visualize this better otherwise you cannot understand great so within one minute they generated infographic about world war ii okay as you can see it's really pretty easy to understand september 1939 invasion of poland may to june 1940 fall of france june 1941 operation barbarossa december 7 1941 attack on pearl harbor it's clear infographics that's so amazing we generated this within few minutes and it's amazing now more fun part click on video overview then i will give prompt here create a brief video overview of world war ii in a 10 turning points you can also select visuals i will click currently heritage and then click on generate there you have it they generated video overview the That's allies great. launched the largest amphibious invasion in the oh, history good. of building street by street building by building deep down in his bunker no japan launched a devastating that's surprise so attack on the u.s pacific fleet and that's how you can turn historical events into visuals which is easy to understand because when we see pictures and some numbers we can easily understand history better now let's take work cases this is where notebook lm becomes your full-time project manager i am pasting a full messy transcript into notebook lm and within few minutes it will generate us actionable plan okay i'm pasting full meeting transcript here and then click on insert perfect now we inserted our source then click on data table and where i will put this prompt so turn this meeting transcript into structured execution plan and we'll click on generate and generally if human takes this work and human try to do this work it will take minimum 30 to 45 minutes minimum we got the result let's click on this within 60 seconds and then you can expand for viewer and we have action owner deadline priority everything decision and then we can click on export to sheets and then we have all details in our google sheet and that's how 48 minutes meeting turn into actionable plan one bonus tip to use notebook lm plus gemini because in notebook lm you cannot combine multiple notebook all together so you can go to google gemini and now we have this new feature called notebook lm and here you can select multiple notebook and then you can click on add and then you can ask whatever you wanted to say so here is a workflow if you wanted to use first notebook lm and then you wanted to merge multiple notebooks you can use gemini and then you can search across the web and then you can do whatever you wanted to generate for your own result and keep separate notebook for your projects and when you need to combine them all use gemini and then you can see the big picture join my youtube journey and i will see you in the next one